Good morning, good morning, family. How are you today? I am well, thank you very much. I'm well, I'm well. Um, you know what, it's a little cloudy today, but don't let that discourage you and don't let that have any bearing on your mood. Have a good day, get that mind together that you're gonna have a good day. Cause I know sometimes when it's a little dreary outside, you tend to feel a little sluggish. You know, you don't have the sunshine to give you that push, but that's what I'm here for, to give you that push. So you could do this. Um, you know what I gotta tell you today? Now it, it could be just me. I I don't have any tattoos, any, and it's it's mainly because I'm a chicken and I I just I'm just scared of all of that. So I don't have any. Well, I went to the store yesterday and I was getting you know I was getting some food, and this young lady who was taking my order. She had a tattoo like on her neck and all on, you know, it was all, and it, it wasn't pretty. You know, it was just, it was letters and it had like a knife. And so I'm thinking, I wonder what in the world is that supposed to mean? You know, and I'm just looking at her. But in her face and everything, she's a very attractive young lady. But I'm just wondering, you. You work and you serving food and you got a, a, a dagger in your neck, a sign of a, what does that mean? So, you know, instead of me ordering, I'm just standing there staring at her. And she's just smiling because I guess she figured, yeah. And I'm thinking, what is that? So, you know, once I got over that and I went on to order, so then I look around and the guy who's bringing the food, He's got tattoos on here. He got the teardrops all. I mean, he has like five or six on this. So I'm thinking, I thought that if you had teardrops, that meant you killed someone, right? Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But then I'm thinking, well, he got like six. So what, what does this mean? What do these signs mean? And, you know, it makes you wonder. It's like. The older you get, the more you pay attention to things that you probably never paid attention to when you're younger. And now I'm beginning to really look at things closer and question things and wonder why it's this way and that way. And when I saw it, I'm just sitting there. I'm like, okay, she got a knife in her neck and he got teardrops. Okay. I, I I don't know what that means. You know, it maybe it's me. I mean, if you know, tell me about it because I don't understand. Because I've seen, I know it's a work of art and people have them on their arms, their shoulder, their back. I, I get that. I understand. And if that's what you like, then, then great. But some of that, I'm thinking you're working and you're in the public and... It's not very attractive, let, let me say that. It's a little disturbing. You know, a knife mark in your neck, um, tears coming down. Ah, you know, hmm, okay, I, I digress. That's enough of that. I'm not gonna waste your morning with that kind of stuff. But anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you because it just, I was like, what is that? What does that mean? But anything, anyway, y'all. I have a quote, of course, and today's quote is, The true secret of happiness lies in taking a genuine interest in all details of daily life. William Morris. One more time. The true secret of happiness lies in taking a genuine interest in all the details of daily life. Now, I thought that was interesting because yesterday it was a really nice day and I thought you know I was walking and just I was in town and I was walking around and I really was paying attention to things just little things people around me um, how the, just the scenery at all and those are things that you really don't pay attention to you kind of just go because we're so busy with our life and doing our thing that we don't pay attention to the beautiful things that are around us. And that's what I want you to do today. Just pay attention to something. Give your 
give an extra minute of your time to pay attention to the detail of something. And it, maybe it's your work. Maybe it's something that you normally don't really, really look at hard. But look at it. Maybe you can see it from a different perspective. But I think that we need to do that more. Pay attention. Because we have, you know, we're flooded with the news, with bad news. Somebody's getting murdered. Somebody commits suicide. Um, it's wars. It's all kinds of things that we pay attention to. And then we pay attention to it so much until we're not paying attention to it. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not a shock. If you hear, oh, someone got shot in a robbery, you kind of go, whoa, oh, that's that's bad. But it doesn't hit you like it used to hit you a few years ago. You go, oh my God, what happened? And you want the details. Now we don't really want the details. And I, I'm, I know maybe I'm speaking for myself, but I don't really even watch the news anymore like I used to because it just seems like it's the same thing over and over again. And I just, I just don't want that in my head all day. So I don't, I don't listen to it. Every now and then. This morning I got Good Morning America, but that's about it for right now. Maybe later. But anyway, I want you to have a good day. I want you to pay attention to a detail, whatever that may be. Pay attention to it. You know, I'm good. You're good. Let's be good together. I hope this is helping you because it helps me to talk to you. It really does, especially when I have these thoughts. I need to share my thoughts. So, with that being said, you know what you have to do. You have to like. Well, you don't have to like, but I wish you like. Subscribe. Tell somebody about our relationship. I loop, and you know what that means, so tell somebody that too. Have a good day. It's Mug Talk with Nita.